Housing Finance Company Limited tagi miyam na financial facilities sing lowi na banding sing jadi. Pantui bi Housing Finance Company Limited and its sisters companies uri pok tawrambam laikai. Notice that Han Boy na RBI na regulator ba amasung Ministry of Finance Department of Financial Services Government of India na Service Act 2002 gi makada financial institution amo ina sakang kraba Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Housing for All misang gi makada subsidized home loan piu da mangjil thari ba Pantui bi Housing Finance Company Limited amadi masigi sister company sing gi Guwahati au na branch taraung doi hangduk chare chahi tara taret ki khongcha tala First, the top news headlines. Combined team of Imphal East Commando Unit and 16 AR and 15 AR arrested four active members of proscribed outfit KCP PWG with demand letters and drugs. And India records 2.47 lakh new COVID cases in big jump, positivity up to 813%. Hello, good evening and welcome. This is Elite TV and I'm Hemabadi Kumban Dabam with the Primetime English News Bulletin. Before giving you the news, we request you to follow the SOP given by the government. Wear face masks when out in public, wash hands regularly and maintain a minimum of six feet between one person and another. Elite TV requests you to get vaccinated in time to protect ourselves from this virus and play our part in the fight against COVID-19. Now, the news in detail. A combined team of Imphal East Commando Unit and a column of 16 Assam Rifles and 15 Assam Rifles has arrested four active members of proscribed militant outfit KCP PWG during a massive counter-insurgency operation conducted in and around Hengang area yesterday around 5 p.m. The arrested persons are identified as Wahengbam Ramananda Singh, Elias Rousseau, Elias Luangamba, 48 years, son of late W. Birin Singh of Kontha Ahalup Makhalaikai, Soibam Inao Singh, Elias Bim, 31 years, son of S. Sarat Singh of Wangui Laifrakpam Mayalaikai, Imphal West, Sapam Mohan Singh, Elias Iboyaima, 52 years, son of S. Bhagyan Singh of Tentha Kuno Bazar, Thobal District and Muhammad Ayub Khan, Elias Khan, Elias Ijo, 46 years, son of Muhammad Alauddin of Lilongdam, Maka, Thobal District. Addressing media persons at the conference hall of SP Imphal East, SP M. Pradip Singh said that the combined team led by OC Commando Imphal East Unit Inspector K. H. Henry Singh and OC Hengang Police Station Inspector K. H. Patho Mite along with a column of 16 Assam Rifles and 15 Assam Rifles, under the command of additional SP operations, K. H. Herojit Singh and under his overall supervision, launched a massive counter-insurgency operation. During that, active member of the outfit, KCP PWG Wahengbam Ramananda Singh was arrested from Ahalub Makhalaikai near Laiharaubam Lampak at around 6.45 p.m. and recovered three mobile phones. The resti Ramananda is presently working under the command of one self-style Kiran of the outfit through one Mohan of proscribed UNLF. From his disclosures, two of his associates, Suvam Inao Singh and Sapam Mohan Singh, were also arrested from his house at around 8.35 p.m. and 10.10 p.m. respectively and recovered two numbers of demand letter from the possession of Inao and 30 numbers of demand letters from the possession of Mohan. Further, one of their associates, Muhammad Ayub Khan, was also arrested from his residence at around 11.40 p.m. and recovered 240 numbers of WY tablets and one mobile phone from his possession. The SP further said that the arrestees are active members of the outfit KCP PWG and presently working under the command of one self-styled finance secretary, Kiran, of the outfit KCP PWG. They were involved in the extortion of money from the general public, 
private firms, government employees, contractors, etc. for raising their party fund. They further stated that they hurled hand grenades, plant explosives to the residences, officers, etc. who refused to give their monetary demand. A case has been registered in Hengang Police Station under ND and PS Act and 34 IPC and taken to police custody for further investigation, the SP continued. Lieutenant General Pradeep Chandran Nair, AVSM, YSM, visited Headquarter Inspector General Assam Rifles South, Mantribukri, today. During the visit, the Director General was briefed in de detail by the IG Assam Rifles about the prevailing security situation and operational preparedness. The General expressed his satisfaction on the security measures and operational preparedness of the Assam Rifles. He complimented Headquarter Inspector General Assam Rifles South for efficiently managing the security situation in the state. The, di the Director General interacted with the Assam Rifles sports team also. He also appreciated the untiring efforts of the forces in difficult and inhospitable conditions and commended them for carrying out people-friendly operations. The Director General was also briefed about the efforts being undertaken for force preservation and COVID-19 preparedness of Assam Rifles in Manipur. A combined team of Imphal East District Police under the supervision of SP Imphal East led by SDPO Lamlai assisted by OC Narcotic Cell Imphal East Inspector KH Dev Kumar Singh, OC Sagulmang Police Station Inspector Lulun Gangte with one Executive Magistrate of Kangpokpe District carried out destruction drive of listed poppy plant of 12 acres plantation area at Champhai Hill Range in Kangpokpe District under Sagal Sagulmang Police Station and destructed poppy plant worth about 2 crore rupees in local market. A case has been registered at Sagulmang Police Station for investigation. RIMS College of Nursing Principal Professor H. Jamuna said that the continuing nursing education program is being held to take the responsibility to curve the COVID pandemic in advance to COVID-19 pandemic third wave. Professor H. Jamuna made the statement during continuing nursing education program on trauma and crit critical care nursing, a sentinel in time of global pandemic, held at RIMS Jubilee Hall today, jointly organized by RIMS College of Nursing, Principal, Staff and Student. Professor H. Jamuna further said that the program is organized in such a way that the nurses could extend some help to somehow ease the hardship being faced by the people due to the COVID-19, which is a global pandemic. program of nursing education called RIMS College of Nursing organized uh, COVID-19 gi global pandemic asi da mataw karam na koi gi nursing personnel sing na lakaduri ba thar we ki challenge ko masi me am se koi gi da karam ba na tawra ga koi nursing na prepare to ga de how to get the preparedness of the nursing to face the challenges faced by the COVID-19 pandemic ma thar we se da madugi da makta khanjar ga koi na team ibadi kanada trauma and critical care nursing a sentinel in the times of the global pandemic. Have you that? Masigi, Tim Sigi Makada, Konyasi, Kanuda, College of Nursing, Dimsna, Masigi, a continuing nursing program, Sinjavani, Aduga, Masigi Marile Nana Kuena. We have invited one guest resource from the PGI uh, Sandigar, that Manju Dandapani, she is the associate professor of that uh, National Nursing Institute of the uh, Nursing. Uh, Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education Research, Mahana, Hyderabad, uh, Tim Sigi Matang, the Yam Namadik Sumba Paguma, Bibi Raga, Akumi Ansibu, as uh, she gave us the uh, knowledge and how far she has extended her vast knowledge related to this field to face the challenges of the uh, tar web and how to get the preparedness of our nursing personnel. Now before we move on, it's time for a short commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Iram Damasi Dasu, Ano Boina, World Class Machine Season Aduna, 20 steps refining eye testing facility from Hanjari. Leo, Lamlong Excellency Opticals, Kurai Lamlong Bazaar, Tinshit Road, Imphal East. Adom Gidamakta, Kudong Sabasi, Bijari. 
Adom gi mit lem na test tau jari amasung adom gi chana ba chuna ba len sing amadi frame sing da cha da kun fau gi discount di jari. Leo Lamlong Excellency Optics, Kurai Lamlong Bazaar, Tin Chit Road, Imphal East. Sion Hospital na Haksel gi Maikaida awon ba ama prakna bagi khong thang da Nambol Bazar gi Koireng Road ta hospital ama hangdok tuna ana line gi khudong cha ba pi ba hausare Medicine ENT Gynecology Orthopedics Pediatrics na chingba departments kaya amada lying ba chathari 24/7 gi facility speed tuna X-ray ultrasound special and routine laboratory test kaya tau ba gi khudong cha ba su pizari Zion Hospital asina adong gi isabu na deek ta na lai na ba laing na ba hot na ba da acho ba thodang lo du na adong adong gi pun sibu nu ngai ai fa ba pun si ema oi na ba gi pandam thamli didim lambi da tang na tom thin ngali ba hospital asina adong gi laing ba gi mai kai da acho ba thodang lo zari Zion Healthcare and Research Institute Nambol Makha Kwereng Road Contact number 0385-2956-711. Notice that Han Boi na RBI na regulate to ba amasung Ministry of Finance Department of Financial Services Government of India na Surface 2002 gi makada financial institution amo in a second kraba. Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yosna Housing for All misang gi makada subsidized home loan P with a manjil thari ba. Panthoi bi Housing Finance Company Limited amadi masigi sister company singi gohati yao na brands tara hundoi handuk chari. Chahi tara tarit ki khongcha ta la kraba Panthoi bi Housing Finance Company Limited ta gi miyam na financial facility sing lo gulia na ba ning sing jari. Panthoi bi Housing Finance Company Limited and its sisters company Welcome back, more news and updates. Two-day rural awareness program organized by Paurabi Nupi Lamjinglop in association with Datopant Tengadi National Board for Workers, Education and Development, Ministry of Labor and Employment, Government of India, was held at Paurabi Lining Thauputhiba Community Hall. The awareness was held under the leadership of National Board for Workers' Education, Education Officer Boisi Misao. Speaker Netaji Topchom, Secretary DUPVO, Nambul spoke on the effects of drugs in our society, while Yambim Naubi, Ward Member, Paurabi, Part 1, spoke on the role of women in their family on the first day of the awareness. On the second and last day, Speaker Kaitilagpam London, former Workers' Union, Manipur Pre President spoke on the role of employees to their family and H. Sanayai, former ward member, spoke on the developmental works of Panchayat. The awareness was attended by Paurabi Development Committee President Kuntojam Kalachand, Paurabi Part 2 member Y. Anil Bala and Paurabi Nupi Lamjinglub, Secretary Irom Inau and around 80 women of Paurabi Awang Lekai and Paurabi Mayai Lekai. Kachai Fruit Farming Cooperative Society Limited, under the theme Organic Kachai Lemon for Safe Environment and Rural Transformation, organized a two-day 18th state-level Kachai Lemon Festival today at Ukrul District Kachai Kul Ground with over 260 stores taking part in the event. The inauguration program was attended by additional Chief Secretary P. Vaipay, Horticulture and Soil Conservation Director Hani Chara, Nabard General Manager Dr. M. Srinivas Rao, MIDH and MoMA Project Director K. Devadatta Sharma and many other esteemed guests. In the program, P. Vaipay applauded the Horticulture Department and the villagers' hard work and sincerity which led to the current growth and development in the sector. He also said that it is satisfying to see how the organic kachai lemons are also sent out as packed pickles, dry fruits, etc., which helps in not only the economic development of the village but of the whole of Manipur. He also expressed the department's plan to distribute the goods not only in India but also abroad. Lemons for production of pickles, juices and various other products. Today, while doing the round of this 260-watt stores, I was very happy to note that some modern packaging and very attractive production packagings have been visible in most of the stalls. And that itself augurs very well for Kachai Lemon. poses the challenge for ensuring how to make the best use of the additional production and that is where I would like to share a few information 
One is this horticulture department has come up with the reconstruction of the Macfruit factory, which is in the final stage of coming into function. The physical construction of the uh, Macfruit factory has been completed. The machineries are being set up as of now. And the functional requirement of funds have also been provided already. And very soon we will be starting its, we will be commissioning the factory. Once that comes up, it will come up with a very huge capacity compared to the previous Mac. Manipur reported 155 new coronavirus cases and zero COVID-19 deaths out of 2,610 samples tested in the last 24 hours, recording positivity rate of 5.9%. 100 persons are from general population and 55 personnel from Central Armed Police Forces were confirmed as new COVID-19 positive cases, respectively. One at Dreams, 63 at Genims and 91 at other testing centres. In the last 24 hours, the state-level COVID-19 deaths audit committee has reported zero COVID-19 deaths. The cumulative number of deaths is 2021. Today, 34 persons were discharged. There are 29 from home isolation, 1 from RIMS, 1 from Janims, and 3 from CCCs. The recovery rate is 97.74%. The Kung Fu Referee Official Training Camp, jointly organized by Kung Fu Sports Association of Maharashtra and Buddhist Kung Fu Martial Arts Association Mumbai at Thane, Mumbai, Maharashtra, from January 9, under the supervision of All India Kung Fu Federation President Shifu C. Al Lama and General Secretary Shifu Dr. Huidrum Roman, concluded today. All India Kung Fu Federation President Shifu C. L. Lama and Kung Fu Sports Association of Maharashtra General Secretary Jinshi Vivek Duvedi fully educated during the training camp. The camp was participated by Kung Fu Sports Association of Maharashtra Chairman Mukesh A. Patel, Chairman Commission Gayatri, Buddhist Kung Fu Martial Arts President Satish D. Mishra, Vice President Ranjan N. Mulya, Treasurer Vilas D. Kimball. Kimble, Technical Director Manish Nadekar, Referee Commission Members Om Prakash Gupta, Sunil L. Gupta, Datta R. Bhawari, Organizing Committee Member Pinky Rani Singh, BKMA Mumbai General Secretary Rahul Gawan. Certificates were also handed over to the instructors of the training camp. India added 2,47,417 new coronavirus infections, the highest single-day rise in the ongoing wave, taking the total tally of COVID-19 cases to 3 crores 63 lakh 17,927, according to the Union Health Ministry data updated today. The daily positivity rate was recorded at 13.11% up from 11.5% yesterday, while the weekly positivity rate was recorded at 10.80%. The country also reported 380 new deaths, taking the total fatalities in India to 4,85,035, while active cases rose to 11,17,531. The active cases comprised 3.08% from the total infections, while the national COVID-19 recovery rate decreased to 95.59%, the ministry said. For LATV News Channel, contact to the email address info at LATV.in or call 940-2890-982 and subscribe to LATV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter for more information about the channel. Now before we wind up for the day, let's have a quick look at the headlines once again. Combined team of Imphal East Commando Unit and 16AR and 15AR arrested four active members of proscribed outfit KCP PWG with demand letters and drugs. And India reports 2.47 lakh new COVID cases in big jump, positivity up to 13%.
Now that's all for the Primetime English News Bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Have a good night.